Hi, I'm Chef Keith with Cooking with Keith. Welcome to another episode where today we're going to be showing you how to do a wonderful, simple, easy to do ahead, prep ahead dish called pasta a la queca. It's from the Roman region of Italy and it's one of my favorite summertime pastas. So easy to prepare, full of fresh ingredients, basil, fior di latte mozzarella, pecorino romano cubes, fresh torn basil leaves, a little salt, pepper, extra virgin olive oil, and you're done. You cook your farfalle pasta and we'll get that going right away because it takes the longest. You'll see how simple this is. We're going to put two tablespoons of salt into our water and we have about a gallon of water in here. And now we're going to drop our farfalle pasta in. And now we'll get that going for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, you're going to cut your tomatoes in this fashion in half. Cherry tomatoes, I think, are the best for this dish. They're super sweet, and um, they really tend to look visually appealing in the dish. We're going to use a little Sicilian sea salt, fior de latte mozzarella, many good brands out there now. My favorite is De Stefano, if you can find it. Fresh basil, and some cubed, little cubes of Pecorino Romano. We have it right here. This is one of uh, the standard cheeses of Italy to use in many pasta dishes. It's almost like Parmesan, except it's made from sheep's milk. So it has a little more of a pungency to it, a little more spice to it, and it really pairs well with this dish today. So we're not gonna be grating it as much as we're gonna let it go into little cubes, let it be in little cubes, and it will slightly melt. The mozzarella will melt fairly well, and the tomatoes really combine really well with the basil, the freshness of that, the sharpness of this cheese, the creaminess of the mozzarella, and the tanginess and fruitiness of the tomatoes all come together to just make a really wonderful summertime pasta. First of all, we're going to lightly salt the tomatoes to get them the juices to come to the surface, but very little salt, not a lot. And then we're going to crush when we put in the bowl, crush them with your hands, just make sure your hands are clean. And just not, we're not trying to pulverize them as much as we're trying to just get the juices flowing. And there we have it, a little juice in the pozuela left over. We'll put that in. Now, we'll put our pecorino cubes in. And you can see, this isn't a complex dish. This is very easy to do. You have the recipe. We're using about a cup of chopped uh, mozzarella, fior de latte mozzarella, cow's milk mozzarella. Really delicious. And you'll see we'll not be chopping. We will not be chopping our basil as much as we will be tearing it into nice sections to throw in here. You keep a lot more of the flavor by tearing it this way instead of using a knife. And you could put as much or as little of the basil as you wish because I like a lot of basil, so we're gonna put quite a, we're gonna put all this basil. <laughs> we're gonna put all this all the leaves in. Just not the not the stems. Gonna make sure the stems stay out because they're kind of hard and crunchy. We're also going to be putting some garlic in. Garlic goes well with this, so we'll just do a little chopping of our garlic. And now, a little fresh ground pepper. And beautiful extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna give it a generous slug. And that's it. Now you can just kind of toss them around, toss the ingredients around. And we'll simply wait about six more minutes for our pasta and this dish will be done. It's looking great. And while we're waiting for that to finish, I wanted to mention a wine that I think would go very well with this dish. It's a Sangiovese Rosé. And the producer of this one is Il Borro, which is uh, a lovely organic, all organic, biodynamic, in fact, winery in Eastern Tuscany. It's 100% Sangiovese and it's light, refreshing, and crisp. 
and the fruitiness in the wine, even though it's a dry wine, will pair wonderfully well with the tomatoes and the basil and the garlic and the olive oil. It's just a lovely uh, pairing and it goes super well with light, refreshing dishes. So this is a great poolside sipper, uh, great to have with seafood, wonderful with light cheeses such as the mozzarella, and great with light pasta. So please look out for this wine. Now, the pasta should be ready. Check a little of the al dente level. Yeah, it's good, very good. So now we'll carefully turn off our fire and drain very carefully. And now we'll just put it in the bowl, how easy. And we'll give it a nice toss. The aromas are so enticing with the hot pasta hitting the olive oil and the basil. The aromas coming up, wafting up are just fantastic. You can, wonderful smell, aroma, it's gonna be a great dish. And simply put it on the plate right in the middle. Everything is starting to come together and get softer, the cheeses. It's a nice sized portion for a nice lunch. Now the moment I've been waiting for, we get to try it. Or I should say I get to try it, and you can make this and try it at home. Mm. And the flavors, I'm getting delicious sharpness from the Pecorino Romano, the creaminess of the mozzarella, fruitiness of the tomatoes and the olive oils just brings it all together. Really delicious. Now I need my rosé. Bon appetito.